Hey guys, it's Alice here. Before this video begins, I just want to clarify something. Unfortunately, we lost the footage to this video. I think what might have happened is that somehow the flashback recording overrode itself because there was a five minute clip of what happened after the episode. So I'm going to be recreating the footage in this episode, but it's going to be very inconsistent. For the most part, I can easily recreate some things with our Let's Play file, like for like a Talus fight, for example. But there's something special we get in this episode that can only be gotten once. So I'll be doing that from a new save file. It will save me time to rebuild up the stamina for this event instead of having to do the entire game again and getting Mineru just so I can attach a Talus heart to her back. So yeah, it'll save me time from doing that temple and other temples and just focusing on stamina so I can get the special event in this video. It's difficult to explain, but you might understand once the video starts. Point is, there will be clips from our Let's Play file, which has been completed, so there will be a lot of hearts. Just to let you know. And there will be clips from my save file, where there will be next to no hearts. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be inconsistencies in there. So I really apologize for that, but I'll do my best to recreate things to, th to the audio file, because the audio files are fine. It's just the video that we lost, so I'm gonna try and recreate the episode as best as I can using the audio files. So forgive me if there's inconsistencies and I'll try my best to sync things up, but it's going to be a bit of an editing nightmare, so forgive me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I've rambled on enough, so let's just start the episode. <laughs> Wish me luck in editing! I'll just say this. I'm really enjoying the music right now. <laughs> It's just got that nice mix of somberness mixing with uh, the depths as, as well as a bit of mysterious aura to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's quite unique for a Zelda game. Anyway, hey everyone, welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we not only met up with Minaru, we overcame the Spirit Temple and got the last secret stone and got further context on the Imprisonment War. Zelda's choice, and what expected all of us in a nutshell. But if I might say, right at the top of the episode, I will say, the build-up to this, albeit, yeah, sure, a little bit rocking you, and you can definitely tell there were pacing issues, but just the way that it's presented, and just the way it's told, the story with all of its pacing issues and everything else, I will say, it is still a pretty powerful story, mm -hmm. especially compared to Breath of the Wild. Because, man, if you just look at the grand scheme of things right now, um, in Breath of the Wild, Hyrule yeah. was in disarray. And it was because, you know, the calamity was upon us, you know, and, l and everyone did everything that... How do I explain it? Yeah. The fact that... Everyone was kind of resided, like, yeah, sure, Hyrule is what it is now, don't go to the castle, it's a relic of long times past. But then Link just popped up and, like, yeah, I need to remember how to do this. Yeah, I found Breath of the Wild to be a relaxing exploration. Yeah. You know, this game is narrative-driven and less about exploration and more about putting pieces together. Yeah, I mean, and just look at the scale now, okay? In present time, Link can do anything even after the events of Breath of the Wild and how powerful he became. So yeah, he was pretty made moot. It took Zelda going back to the past, back to Hyrule's origin, telling the king and queen and pretty much everyone else, guys, the Demon King is going to kick everyone's ass and it's going to be, you know, there's little to nothing we can do. But this one guy, in the far future, he will do it. And they don't know Link. They have no idea 
what links came, blah, blah, the adventures he'll go on in the future. But they just had to go on Zelda's word alone. Who could have been a crazy person? Yeah. It's like, no, guys, this kingdom is going to fall, but this one guy, he can do it. And from that, look at what the events that transpired. The kingdom was left in ruins. The king died. The queen died, but left things to Zelda. The king's older sister. Like, she didn't try and save herself. She left a kingdom pretty much in ruins, essentially without a ruler. Just in the vague hope that Link would be able to do something if we just put all our eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. It kind of makes Link a big deal and puts a lot of pressure on it. And I will say, it is kind of an interesting spin to see. Because, mm -hmm. yes, I know, in Breath of the Wild it was implied that, yeah, sure, Link is the only person who can save Hyrule because, yes, he was, that's why he's the works. But I feel like it's really put on heavy here. And I feel like it honestly works. I just honestly, and this is probably because you and I were coming fresh off Xenoblade, but I kind of wish we got to see Link react more mm -hmm. to things. And I know, I know, it's a big ask regarding a Zelda game, and Link has not had much personality. In fact, I argue he could be out charismed by his horse. <laughs> but uh, still, though, it definitely lays it on thick. I honestly feel like. This narrative is kind of one of the heaviest if you're talking like Link's involvement. Mm. Like, almost to the point in which I can kind of understand if everyone thinks Link is being treated too seriously. Like, he's kind of the messiah, so to speak. And you've also got to think that Zelda pretty much sacrifices herself because she still has that much faith in Link. It's like, yeah, it is definitely on the heavy side. Sea Breeze Boomerang. I feel like out of obligation, I kind of need to take that. Mm hmm Because this is definitely from Wind Waker. Tell us you're going down! Ah, I see. Okay, you had icy hands. I do not like that. You're gonna drop, you're gonna drop, you're gonna drop. Really? I hate you. Okay, seriously. Oh! Thank God for a fairy. Yeah, you had extra hearts that time, but the fairy healed four. I was about to say, so yeah, that's I don't why... know what happened the last time. That's why I asked in the boss fights, like, that should have given you four hearts. I don't get it. You. Come on! One more hit! Thank you! We were attacking the shrine egg. Yep.
Now. I wish you could attach the stone talus heart to her. But I'm assuming it has to be a Zonai device. Try. She has a heart! <laughs> she has a heart of ice, but I don't care! <laughs> <laughs> so that's nice. It doesn't have to be Zonai devices. No, no, no. It could be a rock or a mushroom. And that gives us extra slots for that in that case, then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you saying she's our pack mule? <laughs> She gave up her body and her spirit to help us out. And this is how we're thanking her. <laughs> Good lord. I shall take a shrine. We're giving her a cold heart. <laughs> yeah, we're giving her a heart device. <laughs> we, we gave her a mechanical body and now an icy heart. <laughs> we're nice people. We are definitely projecting on her. <laughs> oh. Now, what are you going to give me? Sapphire. Fitting. I'll take it. I also like how in that cutscene against the Demon King, and Raru sealed himself, he, he gave out the shrine light. Yeah. I think it's definitely because, well, look around us. Yeah. <laughs> it's brimming of his light. <laughs> that was cold, Link. What did you do to my sister? Nothing. <laughs> I'm treating her very nicely. <laughs> I'm giving her a warm reception, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> yep, heart of ice right there. <laughs> and now before we end things off today, there is one particular thing that is still here that we have yet to take care of. I kind of want to make amends of that right now. So if I were to say... Yeah, because I think it was around here. Do you know what? Yeah, I will make things quick. I think there's still an ice dragon around there, though. Well, the ice dragon is not my concern. I've killed one icy monster. I'm not going to do it again. I think from the things I'm reading, the gold horse is nowhere near as good as the silver horse. Well. I think it's slower. <laughs> we'll leave away. We got the horse. And patting it down, because I love it. <laughs> Now where, oh where, is the nearest stable? I'm assuming it's there, okay. Oh, I've got to make a beeline. Yeah, the golden horse doesn't have as much stamina as the white horse. Well, at this point, I'll take it over anything else. Yeah. Okay, horse, listen to me. Just ignore the big flying dragon that probably wants to kill you, okay? Move, horse. I'm better than you. I'm gold! I see the stable on the map. Get there, horsey! Come on, gorse! Yeah. Come on, golden gorse! Is that what we're going to name it? Gorse? Gorse. So we have Gorse and Gorse. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> and then if we get, I don't know, a, what's a color beginning with F? Uh... <laughs> Hello. I am a horse. <laughs> and this also adds another wrinkle. If the Zelda we know that's going around is an evil one, why would she ask for someone to take care of the horse? Yeah. Wouldn't she just say, kill it? We get the royal saddles. Nice. <laughs> and we needed stamina to get this horse. <laughs> ah. huh? Ooh, Yuck. that'll help. <laughs> now begs the question, Sapa! what other um, leads is, have we got to do on Zelda now? Yeah, horse. Sidesteppy. Talk to the guy. Thank you. Sweet. I can use my pony points. What do I get? What do you think? Gorse. <laughs> I should name you, or should I name him after one of the best characters? You know what? I probably will. Yeah. He will not be getting loose. Oh. Uh, you can keep the horse. I have a robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you have available? I would love to see what reward. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh. Horse guard fabric for the paraglider. Things we could not use. Yeah. That's been a pretty successful episode. We got a legendary boomerang of legend. And we've also got another horse, another shrine, so all in all, things went pretty well. But I think on that note, guys, we're probably going to end things there. So, next time on Tears of the Kingdom, Alice is back in control, and we'll see what she decides to do next. Until then, if you like this video, then please be sure to like it, and of course, if you want to subscribe to see more, then yeah, sure, subscribe to see more. Until then, thanks for watching, see you next time. So yeah, that concludes this disjointed mess of a video. I'm just gonna make a quick outro of sorts. I know there technically was one, but I just wanted to make a quick amendment. I guess it's a sort of way to make up for everything that this video was. Basically, while going through my news save file, I stumbled across something that we never found in our original LP save file. Because... I didn't know about this until after we beaten the game, so I figured, why not pick it up while I'm here, and you can show it on camera this way, even though we haven't found it in our LP, might as well put it in anyway. So basically, this is the Dusk Bow, and I'm assuming from the description it's from Twilight Princess. Uh, from what I know, it respawns every Blood Moon, and it has a very long shot range. I don't know how it compares to the Zonite bow because I know those have a long distance firing range. So I don't know if the Dusk bow hits longer or shorter than the Zonite bow because I know the Zonite bow can shoot a Gleok from the sky.
I've never seen the Dust Bow in action though, but here it is. I will admit, it's a really gorgeous looking bow. It's a shame we never found it in our LP, but it's here on top of Fyro Castle and respawns every Blood Moon, so you won't be able to miss it, really. But yeah, that's how I want to end this mess of a video. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thankfully, so far, this is the only episode with lost footage. Knock on wood. But yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Which has footage, I promise. <laughs>